But unless you protest, things just happen. So it's very important to stand up for these states. We don't approve of this. Without my library, I would not be a professor. Without my library, I would not be an author. Without my library, I would not be here today speaking to you. Well, really to support a lot of different uh, things that are going on, uh, just cuts obviously the arts uh, and also the moving the library when a lot of people want to use the library. Um, but also um, combine that with uh, other things happening in Bath, Bath Meadows as well, uh, where they're to put their park and ride. So really solidarity with all the people protesting here really. Hello, I'm Andrew. Yeah. So there's a, a gathering just trying to influence some councillors making a decision, I believe, today. Uh, the reason I'm involved is that my children have grown up going to the library here. It's more than just, just a service that, um, where you get books from. It's a place where you can, you can go on to talks, the children go to readings. Um, it's a safe place to just hang out with the kids, read. My kids feel very at home there and um, yeah, it's been part of their, their childhood. The local authorities have been cut and cut again by the government. They keep on cutting them back. This year the effects of the cut are so serious that social care has been radically damaged. And they're talking about closing the central library and moving it down the road to a poorer place. Close the library that's above the podium, which is a wonderful meeting space for people in Bath. It's a fantastic place where people bring their children. Lots of A-level students do their work there. Like basically all levels of the community use this space and they want to close it to save money. It's not going to have any working space, it's going to have half the room for books. There's not going to be anywhere to park. So people, who, old people who can't, you know, who don't have, aren't just mobile, they have a lift and a podium and it works really well so that they can get there no problem. Why the arts um, the council are sort of cutting the arts rather than investing in them? 